some new incentives are being proposed in the Chicago Police Department's efforts to try to bring in some more recruits. WGN's Dana Rebic live at City Hall with the latest on the agency's staffing crisis. Dana. Well, that's right. The Chicago Police Department has lost more than 1,500 officers over the last two years alone. Now, existing officers on the force are asked to work on their days off. Uh, we hear they are getting burned out, and one alderman is now wanting the city to offer financial incentives to help with recruitment. My son... Um uh, started the police academy in 2018. At 22 years old, he's now on patrol in the 5th District, working an incredible amount of overtime. Oftentimes, they're like, where's Christopher? You know, and he's not there. And so after a while, no matter how much you love your job, you're just exhausted. We have a, an issue with mental health support for our officers. We have an issue of they just don't have enough time with their families. And they continue to have days off canceled, weekends canceled, no time with their family, no time to rest. This isn't sustainable. Alderman Matt O'Shea says the Chicago Police Department is in a staffing crisis. There are currently 11,680 officers on the force, compared to more than 13,000 two years ago. Right now, there are more than 1,300 vacancies, CPD having difficulty recruiting new officers. We're seeing record numbers, of not just retirements, uh, you know, approaching the age of 63 with 30 years of service, we're seeing officers leave to go to suburban departments. We're seeing police officers just get out of law enforcement. They're literally running for the exits. Today, O'Shea introduced a new ordinance that would offer financial incentives. New hires would receive a $5,000 signing bonus, and transfers with experience would get $10,000. Or the officers could choose $10,000 in down payment assistance towards the purchase of their first home. My son stayed home for a year after he got into the police academy so that he could save money to buy a home. You know, how great would that be, you know, if you know, once I'm a police officer, I know that, you know, given the commitment that the city really supports me staying here and being an invested citizen in the city of Chicago. Three million dollars would be set aside from the city's affordable housing opportunity fund. The signing bonuses would cost seven and a half million. So far, 35 of the city's 50 aldermen have signed on to co-sponsor the ordinance. Anybody who would oppose this, I guarantee you would not turn down more police in their community. And when the circus really starts this summer, they'll be in this building screaming and yelling and begging for more police officers. This ordinance uh, would also include a matching program for public safety cameras. If a city alderman uses money from their personal office budget to buy them, the city would then purchase an additional camera for their ward. Live at City Hall, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Thank you, Dana. Very 